The next video segment was taken from Duncan Laurie's studio in Providence, Rhode Island. I used his wild collection of naval radionics equipment, shortwave radios, and homemade ultrasonic microphones to capture the radio transmissions and the EVP recordings that are on this sound library. In this studio, I rely heavily on computers, synthesizers, sound modules, and drum machines. Some of the synthesizers that I used on this project were the Nord G2 modular, the ARP 2600, the Dofer modular, the Roland V-Synth GT, the Alesis Andromeda, the Kawai K5000, the Axis Virus TI, and the Kima system. I also used a custom modified Devilfish Roland TB303 and 606 drum machine. To program any of the melodic and rhythmic loops on this library, we use the Electron Mono Machine and Machine Drum. These groove boxes are perfectly suited for making loop synth lines and synthetic percussion effects. The instruments used on this sound library range from the classic machines from the 70s and the 80s to using the very latest technology. We even use toys that can be found for only a few dollars, like the speak and spells, plastic megaphones, and plasma lamps. But on the other hand, we also use custom-made and computers like the Nico Touchscreen Workstation to do some of the heavy DSP processing, sound synthesis, and editing. I use lots of custom patches and software to create the drones, synth effects, and sound effects for the library. Some of the main applications that we use were Reactor, Composer's Desktop Project, and Max MSP. In this segment, I'm using a modified Reactor patch to work with the touchscreen Nico system. These sounds are controlled by moving the finger across the touchscreen and will react to your finger movements and respond with modulations of sound frequencies. Virtual environments like Reactor allow us to create our own synthesizers, samplers, and effects processors, and just about anything else you can think of. I love mixing organic instruments with synthetic sounds. I often fuse these elements in many layers to work in my musical compositions and in my day-to-day -day work as a sound designer. I centered the library to work more as a sound designer's toolkit to have a wide and unique palette of sounds for any user or composer to use in any application at any time. <laughs> 